For more, we're joined by uh, uh, best-selling author Natasha Henri, consultant for the Council of Europe on Violence Against Women. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having um, me. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's been this sort of uh, more than a steady drip. There's a feeling that the floodgates have opened this time when it comes to Gérard Depardieu. Well, I have to say that when I saw the uh, declarations of President Macron yesterday, it was a real shock. I mean, <laughs> I was sad. I was, I was, I couldn't believe it. I even thought maybe it's a fake. I don't know what's happening. What's wrong with our president? Because the story has been going on and on for a long time now about Gérard Depardieu and 14 women have filed a complaint and there's, I mean, he is under, um, you know, his instruction and, and, and everything is getting worse. And the um, report of uh, the story about when he was in North Korea and these obscene comments, obscene comments, the way he treats the interpreter from North Korea is everything that defines sexual harassment in the French law. Yeah, so to have our president... He sexualizes an 11-year-old girl. The, yeah. Emmanuel Macron, the, you heard the former French president in that report. In that interview, he talks about how uh, Emmanuel Macron had made uh, women's rights uh, one of the pillars of his first mandate as president. So what's happened? Yes, and if President Macron reads his own website, um, the government's website for victims of violence, he will read that one of the first things you do is believe the victims, stand on the side of the victims, not stand by the um, perpetrator. So what happened? I don't know. He is, it's a political failure. In five minutes, he lost absolutely all the feminists in France, and it's a strong feminist movement here in France. He lost probably a lot of women. Um, he made the victims feel horribly sad and alone. We all had to write you know, to the victims today, I'm with you, don't worry, the fight is going on. It's such a bad message from the president. So why did he do that? I know that um, some people have said because uh, he wants to um, put the focus away from the immigration law, which is so bad too. Um, and what, I don't to know. light another fire? I think he's, yeah, like, let's talk about Depardieu instead of other things. I don't know. I think he's got some fascination for the bad boys. I don't know what it is. He's from an old time where you didn't believe victims, where women, you know, Depardieu, ah, he's so French, he's so cool, he's such a hero in French cinema. He's still, but he's too young for that. So what is the explanation? There is, I think, she, Macron, some fascination for the, for the, this type of really horrible guy, or maybe he's misinformed. I don't believe he's seen the uh, footage from North Korea. I, I, I don't think he has. He's disowned as well his own culture minister, who said she would start to have an inquiry into Depardieu receiving the Legion of Honor medal. What should the culture minister do? Well, she said that, and maybe it was too soon. There is a protocol to follow. Uh, you don't just say, hello, sorry, I'm taking your Légion d'honneur back. She didn't say that. She said uh, she, said she was going to look, they were, there was going to be an inquiry, is what uh, she said. She's right. She should. They removed his statue from the Musée Grévin. I mean, the guy is no longer a French... From, from the Wax Museum. From the Wax Museum, de Pardieu. Nobody wants to film with him anymore. Nobody, he doesn't, nobody wants to see him anymore. And suddenly the president is supporting him. It's from... I don't know, years ago. It's years ago. So years ago, he was uh, nominated for Best Actor mm. for Cyrano. And in the United States, because of an interview he'd granted mm. to Time magazine, where he had talked about as a teenager, uh, him and his gang raping a, uh, yes. a, 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 a woman, woman, that uh, uh, he, there was a big storm in the US. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, the French thought it was uh, French bashing, uh, a lot of them. Times have changed, though. The French, have all, the, uh, French have always hoped that it would not become like the U.S. here. They're like, oh my God, you can't hold the door open for a woman. You can't make a compliment. This is the French thing of whatever comes from the U.S. from a feminist point of view is, is too much. Um, now I think President Macron has missed, he has missed what could be called an appointment with the history. He had the opportunity to say, yes, this is a new world now. I understand what the U.S. was saying 30 years ago. Yes, I'm with you, victims. I'm with you, young feminists. 
and he didn't. In the case of Gerard Depardieu, like in the case of Harvey Weinstein, like in the case of uh, people like Woody Allen, mm -mm. it's when they're old that uh, the uh, the charges surface. These are is Depardieu somebody who still wields power? There's still people afraid to talk. I saw there was criticism of um, uh, one actress, the, the Belgian actress Anne Grimbert, because she came forth and and uh, described what had happened years ago. Well, you know what um, Charlotte Arnoux did, which was to file a complaint after being, I, I have to say, allegedly, <laughs> although I believe her, raped by Gérard Depardieu. She was 22. How brave is that when you're a young actress of 22 to go to the police station and, and tell them what happened? It's... It takes so much courage. Now, I know a lot of situations, because I deal with sexual harassment in French companies, I know a lot of situations where people, victims, women, are too afraid to speak. And, and it's still going on, probably in French cinema. You know, cinema's, cinema's a particular case, because it's one of those areas where uh, you uh, live, uh, you don't have a, a steady uh, full-time contract. You, you go from job to job. Mm. So it's precarious. And they're so young. And he's so powerful. It's a question of power. He can do that because he has this idea that women in some situations are inferior. And he can just do that, like he did with the interpreter in North Korea. He thought, you know, who's going who's gonna to tell me anything about this? Um, and, and this is how they built the system. They built this system of, I'm ashamed to, to say anything. Oh, my God, I did go into this room. Whoa. And they built this system of, um, no one's going to believe you. Who are you? are just nothing. You're just this little actress who's starving. Who cares? I mean, and then he's got friends, and their friends are with him, and he still has friends who are supporting him. But we were not expecting that from the French president. Will there be consequences for Emmanuel Macron? Oh, my God, it's so bad. It's so bad. Like, I mean, it couldn't be worse, <laughs> really. We were all so shocked. Hmm. Natasha Henry, many thanks for joining us Thank here you. on France 24.